again we will see the lp3 of b computer experiment number 5 so it is about implementing k nearest neighbor algorithm on a diabetes data set so diabetes data set has got some parameters on that we will apply the k nearest neighbors and then you can evaluate the uh, your algorithm by confusion matrix accuracy error rate precision and recall like that a database is from the kaggle which you can use the link is provided into this so let us start with the first uh, to know uh, about the k nearest neighbor algorithm working so for that i will refer this notes so so if you look into the advantage of the knn it is easy to implement the algorithm is known for its simplicity and uh, for its simplicity and accuracy and it adapts easily if you change the training samples algorithm can adjust for the newly trained samples and it works with few hyperparameters means the parameters provided to k nearest number are just k value a distance matrix and a number of class which you want to um, classify so important disadvantage or you can say important feature of knn that it is always called as lazy training algorithm that's why it take uh, while lazy training algorithm that whenever a new atom comes it has to compare with all test points so it takes a lot of more memory to store the all the test points and comparison of all the test point will take place so that will take time to classify the um, newly added atom so it takes a longer computing time to determine the class of the atoms it has got uh, another disadvantage it has got a curse of dimensionality curse of dimension dimensionality means how many attributes you will take for classify um, that uh, has got limitation is generally if the number of attributes are more then the classification has got more accuracy but if you increase the attributes more in case of a knn it takes more time for classify so again it becomes very slow and another problem with this is prone to overfitting overfitting means uh, you how many what should be the value of k means if you increase the k actually the class determined is more accurate but then a the number of data atoms taken for classification will get increased and it becomes a large class which should be sorted so it is just like a smoothing out prediction values because a num it is values are from more greater area if you consider k less say around 3 4 like that then your class may get uh, wrongly classified so that problem is there for knn so you in short you can say it is a non parametric supervised learning because already the training classes are defined and it is based on distance proximity to taking to decide the class so it is a distance based algorithm and 
the class label the final class label is decided on majority voting means out of k how many are of class 1 and how many of class 0 will decide the class of the final atoms so it is based on majority voting that is another feature of k nearest neighbor so in short you can say it is a lazy learning algorithm non-parametric algorithm distance based algorithm and supervised algorithm so to implement knn first step is you take a data set pre-process pre it then choose the value of k means the nearest data point so generally k is taken odd because then um, the classes will get defined one of the class will get more votes and that is your final class then at each point means each test point remember calculate the distance between test data and training data so every time you have to find a for every newly added atom newly test atom distance of training data and to calculate the distance you can take Euclidean distance Manhattan distance or Hamming distance so generally Euclidean distance is calculated then these distance values are sorted for ascending order and then top k are taken out of that k majority <coughs> majority uh, votes will decide the final class means say for example if there is t1 the first training atom and x is unknown class then say distance is d1 for t2 it is d2 for t3 it is d3 for t4 it is say distance d4 for t5 it is say d5 so on say we have got to 15 training points so it is sorry, d14 t15 minus x is d15 now the next step you have to sort them for ascending order so say d4 is a smallest distance then say d3 then say d7 then say d8 then say d12 d3 and so on finally last so total these are 15 uh, array array of 15 because we have got 15 training atoms and this out of this sorted one I have to take k see I have decided k equal to 3 so what is the class of fourth training atom say it is 1 for D3 it is say 1 and for D7 it may be 0 so majority votes are for 1 so you can say X is of class 1 is it clear so this you have to carry out for every test atom of X that's why it is called lazy first find out a distance then order them in ascending order then third is voting and finally you get a class so these four steps are repeated in every test atom and therefore it is called as lazy atom so best of if you have cleared this um, theory we will go further for actually implementation of k nearest neighbor so it is said it should be on diabetic system so this is the diabetic database diabetes.csv from Kaggle there are nine columns so if you check the attributes 
the pregnancy is glucose blood pressure then uh, insulin bmi pedigree age outcome outcome is the your class whether the person has got diabetes or not age also matters the um, diabetes pedigree means family history may also affects may also give the diabetes bmi insulin but the skin thickness doesn't matter for diabetes similarly blood pressure glucose do affect the diabetes and pregnancies have no effect on diabetes so diabetic condition does not depend upon two three attributes which are listed into this database so during the pre-processing we have to remove them so that the only attributes which decides the final outcome will get um, used for classification so let's move to um, collab so first you do as usual loading of the prior regular libraries numpy pandas mass matplotlib matplotlib for um, plotting of the graphs like that then in the next cell we do loading of the database so file upload function is used and import io so you will get the diabetics.csv now if you check the features total 760 rows and nine attributes which we discussed earlier for example here it is pregnancies on matters glucose matters blood pressure has no effect skin thickness has no effect insulin bmi pedigree age that all say total five may affect the outcome outcome is just two class either person has got diabetes or no diabetes that way <clears throat> so therefore i have dropped in prepare during the pre-processing pregnancies blood pressure and skin thickness if you check the data types all are integer and float type if you check the description of the database the count is 768 the glucose mean value standard deviation maximum minimum values are stored here similarly for insulin bmi pedigree values are stored so definitely uh, we have to check whether any nan values there null values there and if it presents uh, we have to replace uh, according to their distribution means we will replace the uh, null values by means of the average of the uh, remaining columns like glucose insulin bmi that is the average values which is present in the human that way so if you check here some of the insulin values are not present so those can be generalized or average to find the values so glucose insulin bmi a mean value is taken and that replaces the nan value if you plot the graph to know the pattern of the uh, attributes with outcomes this is the density graph the points which are um, uh, distributed doesn't show any standard format standard data like linear no, like that so we have to go for a classification using knn to find out what would be the class of a new unknown person so first the training data is 
so here the y is taken as a separate row for outcome and therefore it is removed from uh, original table original uh, x table then we use a train test split to find out the training and testing size so we have taken 80 20 as a 80 percent training 20 percent testing and then we have to uh, scale all the values using the standard scalar so that the different uh, met, uh, different measurements will come into uniform range then here we have selected k nearest neighbor now if you check the parameters pass to k nearest neighbor or how many neighbors you have to take as i told you generally take odd values what is the class and what is the distance uh, method that is euclidean so k neighbors classifier is fitted here then y predictions are classified using test data and once you get predicted one that is compared with the actual one to find um, the evaluation to evaluate the model so first confusion matrix is evaluated uh, evaluation first my uh, matrix use is a confusion matrix so 93 are correctly classified 14 are misclassified similarly 29 are classified correctly and 18 are misclassified so you will see f1 score is 0 0.64 accuracy is 80 percent so almost 80 percent accuracy uh, this algorithm this algorithm can give you if you plot the roc that is also a standard graph for classification so with accuracy of 80 percent almost 80 percent you can use this on classifier for classifying the person is diabetics or non diabetics that way you can uh, apply to this so i hope you understand uh, the k nearest neighbor operations and how it is implemented in python using sklearn machine learning um, libraries with this we'll stop here